Hey everyone, it's Paul from One Cast One Fish, and today we got a little bit of work to do in preparation for the installation of these Garmin Echo Map Ultras on the bow of this boat. So today we're going to be removing this Hummingbird Fish Finder, removing the bow cover plate, and then fabricating a new cover plate to go in its place. And that's because once we remove this Hummingbird Fish Finder, we're going to have a large hole here that we've got to deal with. You wouldn't think that'd be an issue we'd just call a ranger and order a new cover plate, but that's not the case on a 10 year old boat. They don't make these parts anymore. And that's why we'll be fabricating our own out of a half inch piece of HDPE plastic. All right, let's get right into it. We're gonna unhook this universal two sonar connector. And we're gonna remove this ferrite bead. And that'll take and leave us with the universal two sonar cable connected to the hummingbird that we can take and slide on out and remove when we remove this cover plate. Next up, we're gonna remove the remaining screws from the cover plate. Now we should be able to slide this cover plate on out of place. As you can see, we have a lot of connectors here for the fish finder and various bow mounted components. So we're gonna start with the easy ones first, like this universal two sonar cable, we're just gonna pull on through. And now we're gonna work on disconnecting the amount and removing the hummingbird fish finder. Removing the fish finder should be pretty simple because it's just held on by these mounting brackets and a few bolts. And once those bolts are off, that bracket should slide right out. Now we're gonna remove the bolts that hold on the trolling motor transducer cable and the power cable. And with all of our brackets and bolts removed, we're gonna press down and slide out that cable keeper. And that's gonna pull our cables out for the fish finder. And the final part to remove this fish finder will be removing the power and ground cords from the terminal block. All right, with that done, the fish finder should slide right on out. Now with the fish finder removed from the bow plate, all we have to do is remove the wiring and the switches for the lights and the motor tilt and trim. And for this part, things can get a little tricky. And that's why before you remove any of the wires, you wanna either label them or take a photo so you remember which way they go back. As you can see, there's a lot of connections and wires here, which is why it's important that you always take a picture or label these so you get them back in the correct place. Now with everything disconnected, this bow cover plate's free. And now we'll be removing the switches from the cover plate. And they should simply just press and pull out. Now we're gonna take that bow plate and trace it onto our piece of plastic. And of course, as you would expect, something doesn't have to go exactly as planned. And as you can see, I thought it would fit flush, but it doesn't. So we're gonna take and do a little ingenuity here. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna Dremel this piece out. So there everything lays flush so I can trace it perfectly for replacement. I guess sometimes if it doesn't fit, you gotta make it fit. All right, let's see how that works. All right, look at there. Yeah, that's nice now. That's a nice flush, even mount. So it'll be a lot easier to trace out this shape. Get it exactly right on this board. Now we're just gonna play follow the lines and trace out our shape. As you can see, the edges are a little bit rough after cutting everything out, which should be expected. So I'm gonna take a sander, try to sand those edges down and get everything a little bit smoother. Well, it looks like that sandpaper is doing a pretty good job of cleaning up those edges. However, I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper, so it's a little bit on the light side for trying to get the uh, larger imperfections out. So I'm going to switch to a little bit heavier grit, and we're going to go back at it, and we're going to clean this thing up a little bit and see how it fits. <laughs> After sanding with a little bit heavier grit sandpaper, you can see those edges are nice and smooth now and everything looks really good. So at this point, we're gonna drill the holes and cut out the areas for the switches.
Well, that definitely wasn't the cleanest choice because there's plastic bits everywhere right now, but it definitely did a very good clean job of cutting out these holes where our switches are gonna go. So now we're gonna test fit those switches and see how everything looks. Fits nice and tight. Then we're gonna put our trim switch in. Slide it into place. But the real test is see how it looks on the bow. If I say so myself, I think that looks pretty clean. Almost looks as good as a factory install. Now that everything test fit good on that bow plate, we're gonna draw our holes, screw everything together. Now it's time to mark and drill the holes for the mounting screws. Lucky for us, I can use the old one as a template. And the Dremel's been doing a good job so far, so we're gonna use it to punch those holes through. All right, now it's the moment of truth. We're gonna test fit this with the screws and see how everything looks. I'm actually gonna pre-start all these screws so they're barely sticking through the back. So over there we can test to see everything lines up before wasting all the extra energy, screwing them all the way in. Looks like everything lines up really nice. Well, with everything lining up really nice, now we're gonna move to the next phase where we're gonna start putting everything back together. We're gonna put our switches in, rewire everything, and screw that bow plate back into place. And once everything's hooked back up, we're gonna slide our bow cover back into place. And now we can tighten it up. Well, that'll do it for the fabrication and install on the new bow plate. Only thing is we have quite the mess that we need to clean up at this point. I have stuff absolutely everywhere, but everything looks really, really good on this new plate. It's nice and smooth. Everything fits up nice and flush, and our switches fit exactly where they should. So overall, I'm gonna say I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. This was actually quite the project for me as I never actually did anything like this for the boat. So it was a little bit of a learning experience as we went, but everything went good. I'm extremely, extremely happy with how everything turned out. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free down in the comment section to ask because I was learning as I went during this. So anything that I learned that may be able to help someone else out if they're interested in doing a similar project, I'd love to share my experiences with you guys. So until next time, appreciate you all viewing and staying tuned. So we'll see you next time on the water.